Kasuya, Japan, 2008. A 58-year-old man notices that food is going missing in his home. He starts being more cautious when going out and takes extra care by locking his doors and windows each time he leaves. However, the food in his house continues to vanish and his initial fear of a burglar turns into a deep paranoia. He can't seem to shake the feeling that someone has been finding a way inside his house, so he decided to set up a camera in hopes of catching the intruder in the act. He then used his cell phone to remotely monitor the camera feed while he was out. It wasn't long until the man noticed someone moving around inside his home. He immediately called the police, but when they arrived, the house seemed completely secure. All the locks were set, and there were no signs of forced entry. However, this did not satisfy the homeowner, and he insisted the police go inside and check out the house for intruders. It was only when they searched a nearby closet that all the pieces finally came together. Inside the closet, they found a 58-year-old woman hiding. She had been living in the closet for nearly a year, sneaking out only to shower, eat, and used the bathroom when the owner was away. She stayed out of sight by hiding on the top shelf inside the closet. In Seattle in 2014, a couple had come back to their condo late one night and noticed that their living area appeared to have been either ransacked or vandalized. There were clothes removed from the drawers and scattered around the room. The soles of the woman's shoes had all been removed. Mail that had been previously unopened was now found open and a large pile of various electronic devices were stacked upon the bed. There was also a paint can inside the toilet, and all the doorknobs were covered in what appeared to be hand lotion. The couple did a quick check of their valuables and did not notice anything missing. They called the police, and after searching the house without any signs of the intruder, the police left and the couple began straightening up their belongings. It was then that a pair of shoes that didn't belong to the couple were noticed. As they continued cleaning the bedroom, they heard a scratching sound coming from under the bed, which they assumed was one of their pets. However, as the sound lingered on, the couple exited and called the police back to the condo. When the police went inside and moved the bed, they discovered a thin woman hiding. She had been inside the house for hours and was high on methamphetamines. Inside the bed sheets, they found a syringe, and the woman was clutching a knife. She had been using the knife to disassemble the springs from underneath the bed. The homeowner said that they felt sorry for the woman. However, would you really pity someone that was hiding under your bed in your house with a knife? Pennsylvania, 2008. It was just a few days before Christmas when a family of five started hearing strange and unexplainable noises inside their home. Days went by and the sounds continued until Christmas when the severity of the activity increased. The house had been filled with presents which started going missing. It was first noticed sometime in the afternoon, and by that evening, more items went missing from the home. The family contacted the police believing they had been burglarized. Though no one was caught that day, the police would once again return to the residence when one of the family members opened a closet door and noticed footprints upon the floor. When police entered the attic, they found a man hiding. He was wearing the mother's shirt and shoes, as well as her daughter's pants. He had previously lived on the other side of the duplex until being thrown out by the tenants. He then climbed up inside the connected attic and lived there for nearly a week. The man was later arrested and sentenced to serve 23 months in jail. Uh, 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 <laughs>